Hello everyone, Killy Cardwine here playing Football Manager 2017. We are gonna play three matches today. It's going to be against the L teams Lucerne, Lugano and Lausanne. Hopefully we will be able to win all of them because they are teams placed at the bottom of the league at the moment together with Faduz. So we need to win all three of those matches or at least seven points will be the aim. Hopefully we will be able to accomplish that. Uh, let's get into the first match against Lausanne. We are facing Lausanne today. We have made a few changes after the cup game back to the normal uh, lineup, I guess. Uh, Vasic is in goal. Joel Mall just came back from the injury, but he's not yet fit to play. Maybe he will be able to play in the next match. Uh, Lavanchi, right defender, then we have Baumert, Sesiger in the middle, Antonov on the left defensive position, Basic, central defensive midfielder, Munoz, Andersen, Caillou, the offensive midfielder, and uh, Dabur as the, the point maker, the goal scorer, and he's gonna get help from uh, Sherka Gubari today. Gubari have played okay. In the two matches he have started so far, but he's gonna get another chance today. Sukachev is on the bench because Rich Mansi is still injured for another two weeks or thereabout. We get an early highlight here. Lavanchi and he finds someone in the middle, but it's just barely stopped by Lucerne defenseman. You keep the ball. Wow! Gubari! Andersen did something. Odd with the ball, but uh, he got it to Gubari. Let's watch it again. Munoz, Caio, the Andersen, and it turns around and passes the ball. And Gubari finds the net with a very well placed shot. Uh, a second highlight for us Andersen. Basic finds Antonov. They are moving around in the middle. No space on the Oh, outside, uh, Dabur, Dabur finds the goal! 2-0, let's go! Dabur scores, Caillou with the uh, assist this time. Everyone got involved with the passes. And then Dabur finds the net. Where we steal the ball directly after the kickoff. But uh, Lucerne take it back, maybe it's Lucerne's time to get the highlight. No, yes. No, yeah, we take the ball, we steal the ball, we push forward, Dabur finds Antonov, Dabur, Andersen, Caillou, and that could have been another goal, but Caillou couldn't really hit the ball correctly. This time it is Lucerne for sure, and Lucerne, oh, they, they hit the post! Wow, really good first half, we have 2-0, and we're gonna keep on playing. The performance has been excellent and we should tell the team how pleased we are. I guess that is fine. Sometimes I'm a bit scared about praising the players in half time because then they could be absolute crap in the second half. But uh, I feel like they will be able to do uh, continue playing like they have been in the first half. First highlight of the second half with uh, 13 minutes left to play. Ooh. That's actually not bad, but our goalkeeper Vasic could uh, make a corner out of it, and then we clear the ball. We have had a lot of shots, but no highlights. But that's fine, we have 2-0, we can just keep this going. And this is where the match should end. The boor chases the ball, but we want the whistle to go, there we have it. We win 2-0 against Lucerne. Very earned very well earned points of the next set of international matches. We have uh, Nikola Georgiev playing for Macedonia, Munoz Dabur playing for Israel, uh, Nemanja Antonov playing for Serbia under 21, uh, Switzerland under 21. We have John Bemert and Cedric Sesiger, our two central defenders. Uh, for the under 29 Switzerland team, we have Nedim Bayrami. Gion Shande, he's on loan, the goalkeeper on loan for our team, so he's not really one of our players. And Nikola Tsukachev, Petar Pusic, Devin Manku, Sadek Vitsja, 
Brian Mallo, Fabio Quintales, and Nicolas Herter. So we have a very strong team here actually with a lot of promising players. Good to see that. We are about to play against Lugano. We can see we are a massive favorite to win this match. Lugano are playing 4-2-1-3 wide. There uh, should be a good opportunity for us to push forward. We have made no changes to the team, no, no changes to the starting lineup, except uh, for on the bench, UL Mall is the substitute goalkeeper now, because he's back in form, even if he's not uh, match practice yet, so he's going to be on the bench. We're gonna go attacking and we're gonna go fluid. Oh, we're gonna keep flexible, I guess. Uh, we, but we want to push attacking because we are playing against a worse team, a defensive team. So we want to see if we can create chances this way. Uh, pick up where they left off should be fine. Let's see if we can beat this Lugano team. I want, I, I would like to see three goals from our team today. Uh, Antonov starting off good. But that is not good enough. Corner kick. Caillou did not manage to find the net yet. Oh, that was rather close actually. But another cold kick. No, another corner kick. Sorry. Uh, Caillou with the ball. And this time it is the goalkeeper who takes it. And nothing happened in the first half. Uh, except for the corner kicks. Other than the corner kicks, there was nothing else happening in that half. Um... Work the ball into the box, exploit the middle. Let's see if we can create some chances here. Let's go very fluid and see if the movement on the field can create openings. Uh, do we need to make any changes? We can. Ah, no, I like Caio. Caio is gonna stay. Maybe there will be more room now in the second half. We can see we have 11 shots, one on target in the first half. Hopefully we can get good chances here in the second half instead. This should be a highlight for us. Nope, they take the ball. Oh, we take it back. Lavanchi, you need to go into the middle now again. And then we find space on the edge. The board. Good body. Let's go. 1-0. Da Vinci on the right side of the pitch managed to find Dabur in the middle and Dabur finds Gubari and Gubari is in a very open space and he can easily find the net 1-0. The match is about to end and uh, the goal was actually the only highlight in the second half. Super strange, super super strange. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's not talk about that match anymore. We win 1-0. That is the important thing. And we can also see that it was a fan day. And we had a big bump in the crowd. Even if the match was not good enough. But I feel like that is the case in Football Manager a lot of times. When there is a fan day, yeah, I often play super bad. Super, super bad. And we won the match, but it still was not a great, uh, great for the audience. And the last match of this episode is against Lausanne, the last of the L teams. Uh, what did we change before this match? Uh, Ewell Mall is going to play again. He is back from the injury. He have played three league matches and he have only allowed three goals against him. And those are the three penalties. We suffered against who was it again? Uh, against Toon, we suffered three penalties, and the other two matches he have held a, a clean sheet. Also, we had an injury, or not an injury, but uh, not a good health on Cedric Sessiger. So Miatovic will play instead, and Pnishi will be on the bench. Uh, Gubari have scored two matches in a row. So even with Rich Mansi back, uh, Sherko will start, Gubari, I hope you can keep your form going. And then Rich Mansi is likely to enter the field later on in the match. Attacking, mentality, fluid, we will try and we will also try 
exploit the middle and work ball into the box. Uh, let's see if that will help us. Uh, let's go into the match. You can see that Lusan are playing 3 1 4 2. Uh, defensive lineup, but still with two attackers, so they could be dangerous. Uh, let's have our assistant manager take care of opposition instructions and we will talk to the team. We've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress me. I think that one will work today. First highlight of the match about seven minutes played, and it looks like it's going to go to Lusan. No, it's still the ball back. Passage. Gubari he is waiting for people in the middle. Oh, Dabur. Andersen gets the ball, passes it on to Dabur, and Dabur score. Gubari with a very nice ball, and Andersen with a clever pass. And an easy goal for Dabur. Let's go. Another highlight coming up. This time it is uh, Antonov finding space. Oh, that's actually a good, uh, a good shot, but not good enough. We have a corner, Caio, and the goalkeeper takes the ball. We have an early injury, 20 minutes and 15 seconds played. Georgiev are going to come in instead of the injured Caio. Another highlight, Andersen moving into the penalty area, and that's Antonov, the left defender. Finding room in the middle and he heads the ball into the net. Nice run past the defenders by Andersen. And then oh, we have four people against two. Wow. Half time, we lead 2-0. Uh, do we need to make any changes? I think we're gonna put in Mansi. Gubari have been okay. But uh, I think we need Mansi to get... Uh, some time on the field as well because he's back from the injury match sharpness need to improve uh, let's keep on as we did oh we don't need to uh, the assistant manager was reading what he thought we should say and he said do not say anything we need a clear minds on the boys in the second half so let's not ruin that by saying anything stupid Will be a highlight for us or for Lusan. It looks like it's going to be for Lusan, and they score. Thomas Gabriel no, Torres, Gabriel Torres scores. A very good ball from Custodo, and Torres makes no mistake. It's a few minutes left to play, and please do not tell me we're going to lose this. Now Dabur, Dabur finds the net. Good, good finish. Andersen with the third assist of the game. Very nice ball. Ne very nice run by the Boer. Finds the space and he finds the goal. Very, very nice. So we lead 3 1. And I feel like this match should be over now. Lusan are not giving up. Torres comes again. Torres. Oh, that's, that's a dangerous shot. But uh, we have a great goalkeeper in the mall. Clear the ball, thank you. The match is over. Andersen was absolutely amazing today. Finding three assists. Dabur, two goals. And Antonov also scored. We win 3-1 and that means that we come out of... Oh, let's push forward one more time. Uh, we come out of the three matches against the L teams with three wins. 2-0 against Lucerne, 1-0 Lugano. 3-1 against Lausanne, and we are now top of the league, one point ahead of Sion, two points ahead of Basel, and seven points ahead of Young Boys, 15 matches out of 36, and we are in the lead, uh, don't think we will be able to stay there, but uh, for as long as this run of form is continuing, continuing we should be super happy, good job everyone. Uh, that will be the end of this episode. More Football Manager with Grasshopper coming up. Until then, I am Killer Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.